Introduction Hello friends, what do we need to run our television set, refrigerator, DVD players, video games, computer and fax machines? Yes, it is electricity. Electricity has always been around because it naturally exists. Lightning, for instance, is simply a flow of electrons between the ground and the clouds. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you will be able to define electricity, establish the relation between electric current and charges, identify the two types of electricity, define conductors and insulators. How do you study in the late evening? Of course, you light up your room using an electric bulb. Have you ever wondered what causes the bulb or the tube to light up? They need electricity to light up. Electricity passes through the wires and reaches the filament of the bulb, heating it up to glow. When we comb our hair with a plastic comb and take it near the small pieces of paper, the paper pieces are attracted toward the comb. We then say that the comb is charged with electricity. This was first noticed by a Greek man named Thales over 2,500 years ago. Thales found that amber attracted tiny feathers after it was rubbed with silk cloth. This was due to static electricity. The origin of the word electricity comes from the term electron. Let us perform an activity to understand positive and negative charges. Take an ebonite rod, ebonite rod and rub it with a piece of woolen cloth. Now suspend the rod by tying a thread through its middle. Now charge another ebonite rod in the same way and bring it close to the suspended rod. What do you notice? The suspended rod moves away from the second one. Now take a glass rod and rub it with a silk cloth. Bring this glass rod close to the charged suspended ebonite rod. What do you observe now? The suspended ebonite rod comes closer to the glass rod. The charges produced in the ebonite and the glass is different in nature. These two kinds of charges are called positive and negative charges. The positive charge is shown by the plus sign and the negative by the minus sign. Merely as a convention, charge on a glass rod rubbed with silk is taken as positive and that of ebonite rod rubbed with woolen cloth is taken as negative. From the earlier activity we can conclude that like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. We have just studied about electric charges and the forces they exert on one another. We have learned there are two types of charges, positive and negative. When charges transfer from one body to the other, the bodies are said to be charged. The moving or flowing charges produce an electric current. An electric current consists of a movement of negative charges, that is, electrons. The flow of electrons gives us electricity. Electric current is measured by ammeter. Dry cell battery used in a torch or transistor radio is a source of electric current. Every battery has two terminals marked plus and minus. When a metallic wire connects these two terminals, the electrons resulted from chemical reaction start flowing through the wire constituting an electric current. These electrons flow from the negative to positive terminal. Thus, a cell is a simple device in which chemical energy is changed into electric energy. Some materials allow electric current to pass through them. Others do not. The materials that allow electric current to pass through them are called conductors. Iron, 
copper, brass, aluminium, silver, gold, graphite, etc. are the conductors of electricity. The materials through which electric current doesn't flow are called insulators. Insulators are also known as non-conductors of electricity. Paper, wood, plastic, cloth, eraser, rubber are the insulators. Pencil lead is made of graphite. It is a form of carbon. It is non-metal, but it is a conductor of electricity. It can be tested whether a given material is a conductor of electricity or not. The given material between the free ends of wires in an electric circuit face the given material between the free ends of wires in an electric circuit. Bring the free ends of the two wires close. Now let them touch each other. If the bulb glows, the material is electrically conducting, otherwise it is an insulator. Both conductors and insulators are important while using electricity. The conductors like copper or other metallic wires are used for electric supply, but at the same time, these metallic wires are coated by insulating materials like plastic or rubber for safety. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Electricity is a form of energy. Charges always occur together. Like charges repel and unlike charges attract each other. The flow of electrons is called electric current. Lightning is an electric discharge in the sky. Cells are sources of electric current. Cell is a device in which chemical energy is changed into electric energy. The combination of cells is called a battery. Electric current is measured by an instrument called as a meter. Metals and inorganic salts are good conductors. Non-metals and organic compounds are insulators.